pressing matter. Like if you don't want, if you don't want like serious agitation, if you don't want like serious issues in Ukraine, then like stop giving them fucking guns. Okay. Stop giving Ukraine guns, which is what the American Thank government is sad. doing. And also on top of that, stop trying to get him to fucking join NATO, you know? Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. Like, but, but Americans, or at least the American state department doesn't give a shit. They, they want to agitate Russia and Russia in and of itself is nothing. They're, boy, they're boy. bitch made. They got nothing. They got nothing. Okay. Dude, you are totally off with this. I just, I, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. And even if you're a Ukrainian, you're a dumb bitch. If you think that America is actually on your fucking side. Okay. Ask the Kurds. Me with on this like literally, on has look brain, at what they did to the Kurds. Brain. America just uses supposed fucking, you know, anti-authoritarian forces uh, as a, as a cudgel, as a weapon. Okay. For like a brief moment. And then they throw it down like the fucking Woody meme. I don't want to play with you no more. And, and then you just get fucking baby. rolled. Okay. You can say it's insane all you fucking want, but it's just the truth. Okay. You're stupid. Like we, what do you do? You, you come in here and you learn about how America fucking fought ag uh, yeah, against insane. the USSR by literally beefing up the Mujahideen. Like, and how that led to uh, the, the collapse in Afghanistan and how that led to, quite literally led to 9-11. And you celebrate, and you, you, you celebrate knowing that, that reality that other people don't know about, okay? You make jokes about it. You fucking I meme about it. So but then you turn around and when it's happening right in front of your eyes in Ukraine, you're like, no, that's actually good. He's, you're a dumbass. You are a dumbass. Just like every other American is a dumbass. You think you're smarter because in your mind, you have like this empathetic point of view. You think like, oh no, I empathize with the people of Ukraine. Like we should arm them. We should give them guns and they should fight back against the Russian forces. It's like, you know, they have a pretty big military. They have a pretty solid military. Like they should be the first fucking line of defense against Russia. And it's like, no dude, how do you not realize that we're doing the same shit, but in Ukraine now that we were doing in fucking Afghanistan and everywhere else. So it's so funny when you're like, oh man, I have the benefit of hindsight. I have the benefit of hindsight. I have the benefit of knowledge on all these complex geopolitical conditions uh, when, we, when we're covering it fucking 30, 40 years prior and how it impacts like contemporary society, okay? But you don't know how to apply it to the shit that's happening in front of you. What's wrong with you, man? What the fuck? Think about it. Think. You think Ukraine wants to fight a war? No, they don't. That's the other part of it. They don't. They don't. Ask, look, Ukrainian people do not want to fucking fight uh, against, uh, uh, against the Russian government. The Russian government does not want to fucking fight. Uh, it's in no one's interest. But there are people here that I don't know if you're like a fucking dick skin uh, lanyard uh, shithead that lives in fucking D.C. or something. Or you're working, uh, I don't know, for the State Department or something, but you're just like, you're literally like, come on, bro, let's get a good war in. Let's get a good war in. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to happen. Joe Biden's not going to do it. They're just fucking agitating you in the media for it, okay? And they're going to keep pumping you. They're going to keep pumping you and, and, and gassing you until you're like, yo, yeah, let's fucking, let's go. We got to liberate Ukraine, brother. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, you live in fucking West Virginia, why the fuck do you care about Ukraine or, or Russia, okay? No, you're just told you need to care about it. Yeah, the original chatter literally said, I've seen 30 Western media stories about it. Exactly, that's why. That's why you care about it. Okay? Do I think it's okay for Russia to go in and fucking, you know, do a full wipe? Which they're not going to do. But do I think it's okay for, like, uh, Vladimir Putin to be like, yeah, we're taking over Ukraine? No, of course not. They shouldn't. Okay? What can Three I do months. about it? Nothing. Don't do it. Thank you okay? Doing Don't you do it here. I'm wagging my fucking finger. But ultimately, it doesn't matter because if you ask Vladimir Putin, he says, I'm not going to do it. It's not in my interest. If you ask the Ukrainian people, they say, well, it's not in our interest. I hope it doesn't happen. Vladimir Putin says, I don't want to do it as long as, you know, you're not fucking forcing Ukraine to join the NATO or uh, you're, you're not giving Ukraine weapons to fight against or push back against, like, you know, the Russian forces that aren't even there yet. Okay. And then Joe Biden turns around and says, we're not going to invade. We're not going to invade, Jack. We're not going to fight back, Jack. Hope you enjoyed your basketball stream. Even if Vladimir Putin 
goes in there. We're not going to fight back. And then he doubles down, or instead of doubling down, he, he immediately corrects the record. Jen Psaki comes in the next day and says, uh, actually, that's not true. We will fuck up Russia if they, you know, put boots on the ground, military warfare. What a shit take. Everything I've said so far is descriptive. Everything. Everything I've described to you so far is just an accurate assessment of what's going on, okay? Vladimir Putin did claim in the talks that they had that they have no interest in invading Ukraine, okay? That they have no interest in invading Ukraine. They simply just don't want America to keep agitating Ukraine. They, they do not want America to keep arming Ukrainian soldiers and, and, also, uh, and, and also saying that uh, they're not interested in invading Ukraine uh, as long as Ukraine doesn't become a part of NATO. Joe Biden's like, no, fuck that. Ukraine should be a part of NATO, okay? And, uh, or well, technically Joe Biden didn't say that, to be fair. Joe Biden has said both of those things. He's both said Ukraine can become a part of NATO if they want to, and also Ukraine won't become a part of NATO. Don't worry about it. But Joe Biden has also said, we will I never mean. fucking, you know, do boots on the ground military warfare even if Russia invades, okay? Ukraine. And then he actually did say, I don't know why Hassan just believes Putin. I don't. I don't. But the difference between me and you is that, like, you, for some weird reason, believe the American State Department. I don't believe Putin as much as I don't believe the American State Department. That's the difference. I just look to the genuine interest that people have in the region, okay? It's so strange when people are like, why do you take Putin at, at his uh, at face value? Of course I don't, dude. He's fucking KGB Andy. You guys are so stupid. But that's precisely why I'm just, yeah, they're going to fucking do the same shit with China, Taiwan too. That's precisely why I'm saying like, there's nothing you and I can do except get fucking mad and like eat popcorn and watch like a, a supposed a war happen. Okay. Sorry. Hassan is so gullible. Yeah, dude, you on the other hand... Wait, let me read this. Let me read this. Let me read this. Um, let me read some of your non-gullible takes, dude. Okay? What does shit take? Accurate in what sense? Russia already has soldier stations on the Ukraine border. Hassan is so gullible. It's okay to exploiting people when it doesn't harm them, lol W. Dude, you, you on the other hand, man, you are so good. Imagine China, Taiwan is number one. Imagine defending China, lol W. <sighs> A second explosion heard in Kabul. Uh, this guy quite literally only comes in here whenever I'm talking about fucking foreign policy and exclusively takes the American State Department position on every issue, I think, which is very cool. Thank you for not being gullible. You know, see you in 25 years when we talk about how maybe it wasn't the best idea to do what we did. You know, except you won't learn then either. You'll just like, because the goal is not about like the actual fucking, the goal is never about like the actual things that are going on. In the end, you can, that's the reason why CIA declassifies shit 20 years, 30 years later. They'll declassify it and they'll be like, oopsie, yeah, we did do that. Remember that thing that we said was a conspiracy theory? Actually, it wasn't a fucking conspiracy theory. We quite literally did that. Oopsie, what are you going to do about it? 25 years later, it's declassified, right? But it doesn't matter. Even in the process of declassifying that information, they're continuing to say it's a conspiracy theory. The exact same shit that they're doing right now. I normally side with you, Hassan, but I really disagree this time. Yeah, you disagree because you're an empathetic individual. You disagree because you are a liberal. You disagree because ultimately American liberalism uh, is is very powerful it's very good at like you know tugging at your heartstrings to make you feel like american imperialism is the only way to fight against like russian imperialism you know what i mean and yeah it's like russian imperialism it's true that's that's what russia is trying to do they're trying to protect their regional authority their regional security right their autonomy in the region they are a regional leader that's what big countries do okay straight up and it's not okay but America should have no business in trying to fight back against that. And the only reason why America has a business in fighting back against that is straight up so they can, you know, keep selling guns and uh, keep dominating the world and keep fucking prodding back against other countries that also want to become, you know, global competitors, which they will never become global competitors. And the reason why they'll never become global Asshole. competitors is because like Russia is bitch made. You know what I mean? Maybe if the fucking polar ice caps melt and they find like some 
you know, juicy, uh, natural resources under it or some shit and figure out a way to capture it. Maybe then, but until then, you know, they're bitch made. Okay. And if Ukraine wants to join another sphere of influence, why should it not be able to do that? The sphere of influence is exclusively to like fucking flex Western imperialism. So it fucking frustrates me. Yo, its existence frustrates me. It's literally a fucking shout out to look, their families. If you yourself call yourself a fucking leftist, okay, and you're like, oh, I'm a leftist. Like I, I believe that like American imperialism needs to stop. You can't be fucking pro NATO. You, if you understand that the American government is running a protection racket, okay, in the form of building fucking military bases all around the world, selling guns to all those countries, and then, you know, sometimes those guns have to be used, and then, oh, you use those guns against someone, and they got pissed, so now they're fucking fighting back. Well, then, now you need more guns, and you need more protection. If you recognize that as a leftist or as a progressive, okay, you can't just look back at moments throughout time life. when they've done it and be like, yeah, that was really fucked up 30 years later, but when it's happening right in front of your eyes, go, nah, actually, it is good. It is good that they're doing it now. It was bad when they did it back then, but it's good now. It's not. It's not. NATO is a ridiculous Yo, fucking NATO coalition. It's a completely ridiculous coalition. Hassle. Okay? Like, how the fuck are you going to be a pro-NATO leftist, dude? Jesus Christ. The same chatters who call us tankies are now cheering for war with Russia so predictable. Like, yeah, what, what, what's going to happen? And like, I get it. It's very good. It's like very successful to like feel that way. Because you're like, well, the big bad wolf of Russia, that, they're doing the bad things. Okay. Is the best way to fight back against the bad guys over there by being bigger bad guys over here? Really? Is that what you think? 10 months of knowing that I'm being exploited. You're coming in as a baby leftist to one of the largest openly socialist fucking broadcasts in the world and caping for a fucking Western imperialist institution specifically designed and created to enact ideological warfare against any kind of fucking communist development around the world. What a strange world do we live in, like, where people are just like, I'm a fucking pro-NATO socialist. Like, well, okay. Yo, Sick. What's up, Mr. No, it was, I'm a pro-NATO socialist. That's why I think it's cool when, like, uh, I don't know, like, fucking Norwegian and, and British forces are, like, also killing 14-year-olds in Afghanistan. We had to do that. That was a thing that had to happen, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so months, stupid. <laughs> No, dude, guys, I fucking love NATO. It's sick. It's it's so so important to do. Okay. I hope you know there are gonna be twenty year old foreign relations experts who will make twelve videos because of this take. Yeah, I just I don't care. I, I I know I know. Every time I say anything about fucking uh foreign relations, like they lose their shit. Here, let me do the let me do the fucking uh brief summary of that forum. Okay. Here, here's the take. I am going to write a video essay about how bad this take is because Vladimir Putin is homophobic. He's horrible. He's authoritarian. He is uh, jailing fucking protesters. All of which is true, by the way. Okay. All of that's true. He arms the fucking Chechens. He 100% he is like uh, totally aligned with some of the worst fucking uh, authoritarian leaders. Okay. Straight up. Still, all of that is true. Okay. And, um, and then in this entire conversation, I will be avoiding what America is doing. Like while talking about what Russia is doing, I will be avoiding quite literally what America does, which is exactly what I'm talking about with Russia, but like at a 10 X level globally. Okay. And in areas where they have no business being in, at least Russia is doing it in their own fucking, you know, region. Whereas, which doesn't make it better. Don't get me wrong. But it certainly is like more understandable than fucking America doing it in Ukraine. You know what I mean? It's not whataboutism. Like, 
The United States is significantly worse on all of these fucking issues. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Like, if you think, like, oh, my God, Russian imperialism is happening, and then you totally fucking have, like, this major blind spot to, like, the American the imperialist the forces that are the only way to supposedly stop Russian imperialism from happening. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Anyway. Prison is exactly like prison. Hashtag I didn't read Foucault. Is this your Marx Lenin's arc? I mean, it's not. It's not my Marx Lenin's arc at all. I just think it's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous that like... It's ridiculous that we, okay, as supposedly progressive individuals comprehend, okay, that uh, American imperialism is bad and wrong, but then bad. like, oh, but in certain, in a lot of instances, it's actually okay to do. Like, I have no business telling Russia what and what they can't do, because I can't. I can't stop that, okay? Here, I said it again. I will say it again. Don't invade Ukraine, please. Vladimir Putin, what are you doing? Okay? I care more about what we do, because we are the most powerful country on the planet, okay? We're the most powerful country on the planet, and, like, what we are doing is so much, so much worse than any other country. If you're crying and complaining about, like, what Russia might do to Ukraine, first of all, events. in, like, 90% of circumstances, unless you're, like, quite literally Ukrainian or something, okay, we even you just don't give a shit. You are, you are conditioned into giving a shit about it, and that, that's the reason why you're talking about it non-fucking-stop, because... Every dumbass media outlet that you read is telling you, like, it's really fucked up. It's really fucked up what's going on. We got to defend Ukraine. <laughs> anyway. Am I crazy or do we used to call it the Ukraine? Just calling it Ukraine sounds weird to me. I hate these takes. Imperialism sucks no matter who it is. Nationalism blinders suck. I'm going to check out the stream later because this is frustratingly mind-numbing from the chatters. I mean, imperialism sucks no matter who it is, Desert Grizzly Ark, but like, I think a lot of people just don't understand that Russia wants to go back to like Cold War profiteering. Putin has been super open about how much better they did during that era. U.S. sees money uh, everywhere. They want to take money. Oh, you're not. I think a lot of people don't understand that uh, to base our laws. And Okay, so... I can't tell. I can't understand what you're saying. I, I thought you were going to be like, no, but it's. Oh, the chat is numbing their brain. Yeah, it it's just like. 